Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I have a massive Trader Joe's haul to share. We haven't gone to Trader Joe's since February and it's June. So we got a restock on a bunch of frozen items, snacks, things to have on hand, some new things, honestly, a lot of new things, and I'm excited to share. So I'm gonna lay everything out. It's about six bags and I'm gonna go through everything once I get it all laid out. This looks hilarious. We did get a lot of frozen foods. I do love to have frozen things in the freezer that are quick and easy for dinners when you don't know what to cook, you don't wanna go out to eat, and you haven't thought anything for dinner. So we always keep this stuff on hand and we buy it every couple of months. So I'm gonna start over here. Some snacks, sesame honey almonds and these buffalo seasoned almonds. Christian picked these up. Got some seasoning, garlic powder, 21 seasoning salute. And I love this green goddess seasoning blend. I love it for the sheet pan meals that we do with the sausage and all the veggies. It is so good with that. Some chomps, dried mandarin orange. I love these mango slices pita crackers, just some regular almonds, and then we're getting into the frozen foods. We love these for like a Trader Joe's Asian style night, so this Kung Pao chicken. Sweet potato fries, a good side for when we do smash burgers or when we do like easy lunches on the weekends. This one is the barbecue teriyaki chicken. I love the rice cauliflower stir fry. I eat this all the time. So I love keeping this in the freezer. Um, orange chicken, and then I don't know if we've tried this before, the beef and broccoli, but I think we have. Cauliflower gnocchi, these are new. These are also some great dinner sides to pair with chicken or salmon, whatever you thaw out. Garlic pasta, this one would be like an Asian style. So we got that to try. Spaghetti carbonara to try. I love the sweet potato gnocchi. Vegetable fried rice. We got some waffle fries for something easy to go with lunch on the weekends or smash burgers. Christian saw this, these pizza bites. Just like an easy snack just to have. Gorgonzola gnocchi. And then this reminded me of, Christian and I love Fresco's, which is a Italian spot in Dr. Phillips. And they have this fiocchetti pasta with like pear in it. This reminded me of it. They almost look like little pockets of pasta. And it just reminded me of that restaurant, even though they don't have any pears in them. But we got this to try. We got these Brussels sprouts, guacamole, and roasted red pepper hummus. Steak, we get our steaks from there. Cheesecake cones, Christian picked these up, as well as these pretzel slims. Got a bunch of turmeric shots, ginger shots, hash browns, sourdough bread jasmine rice and brown rice. I usually don't buy already cooked jasmine rice. I usually just buy the bag of rice at Publix and keep it in the pantry. But I thought this would just be easy to have um, as like a quick side. And then some more snacks. Christian picked these up. PB&J bars, cereal bars, and these knockoff Pop-Tarts. I actually love these Misfits bars. They're really good. I eat a protein bar before I work out. They don't have the best ingredients, but they taste really good. And I don't think that they have a lot of added sugar. Um, they actually have no added sugar. They do have sugar alcohols, but you really can't win them all. These are just some protein bars that I've really been liking lately, and I can't find them at Publix. I've only been able to find them at Whole Foods and Trader Joe's, but these are my two favorite flavors, the chocolate cookie butter and then the chocolate caramel flavor. They're also pretty decently high in protein. So pick those up and then of course, it's not a Trader Joe's haul without these Elote corn chips. And that is the Trader Joe's haul. This haul is massive. <laughs> because this cord is really short and this is like my manicure. I got a manicure gel kit, but it's like a healthier gel. It uses a different type of light. And I got this in the mail last year and I got my nails done last weekend. And I don't know what he did differently, but they are like chipping. The tip of them are chipping all over. And thank goodness I have this gel kit because literally on Sunday, last Sunday, so two days after I got my nails done, my finger was chipped and they're all chipped on like this corners and like the edges so you can't really tell if you're looking at the nails like head on 
but this one chipped a little bit and I just don't want the chip to get worse. So I have this nail kit. Since I am starting to get my nails done more, I pushed them for two weeks. I just got my nails done a week ago, so they should honestly be lasting longer. It's like, what am I paying for? So it's just a little bit of a bummer because it's never happened before, but I have this white polish and it works. I did it on this nail last weekend. So I'm gonna try and fix it so it doesn't chip anymore and then it doesn't look bad. So I'm just using this light and I have white and a top coat. I obviously make over some other nails too. I want them to like stay looking nice. So I'm just sitting here doing this and I just started a load of laundry. About to cook dinner probably in an hour. We had such a late lunch that we're not super hungry right now, but we're gonna do steak salads for dinner. It says that it's 105 degrees outside right now and I shouldn't have worn this even though this is a really light linen -y style top it's strictly only tank top weather here I cannot wear anything with sleeves unless it's night out I'm going to run just like a couple of errands I need to make a return at free people there's a free people store in Winter Park Village so I'm gonna go run there instead of Actually, I don't even think we have another free people in the mall or anything, but I'm really glad there is a free people store just to make it easy on returns. I just didn't like the color of this set that I got. I need to get gas in my car and then go to the grocery store and get groceries. I know we just went to Trader Joe's yesterday, but we need just a couple of like fresh stuff. I get my fruits and stuff from Publix. It just lasts way longer in my opinion than Trader Joe's. And I find that with a lot of grocery stores, I just find that it lasts like literally five to seven days and Trader Joe's fruit lasts me like two days. I'm like, what's the point? So I'm gonna go get some stuff for that and then some dinner sides. It's Sunday, it's around one o'clock and I did all my laundry for the week already and now I'm just finishing up the last couple things and then going home to meal prep. So that's on the agenda for today.
red mark on my face. I just did my red light mask, so maybe it's from that. But I'm gonna do some skincare before I end off this vlog. And I'm gonna walk you through my Sunday night skincare. I do the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads on Sundays. I do these like once a week, so it's like the two step. And I have the extra strength just to help with some discoloration. I have a lot of freckles and some hyperpigmentation in my face. And yeah, so I do this and then I take it on my neck. Okay. And then I gotta let that dry before I do step two. My self tan on my face does just not last with my skincare. One thing I think I'm gonna try is castor oil underneath my eyes to try and help with darkness. It's so cheap that I don't really have anything to lose, so I really want to try it because I feel like I've tried like everything. I've tried like the Arnica cream, take a multivitamin, like I take all the vitamins and supplements. I'm not deficient in anything. At the end of the day, I think it's hereditary, but I mean, I've never tried castor oil and it's like 20 bucks for a large container of it on Amazon, so why not? So I think I'm gonna try that, but I wanted to share a recent empty, this Rode Glazing Milk I did repurchase. I really love it to pair under my hyaluronic acid. It lasted a decent amount of time. Maybe it's because I didn't use a lot of it when I was applying it. I feel like I had this for definitely, it has to be close to a year. There's no way. I mean, I use it like mainly in the mornings. Sometimes I use it at night, like tonight I'll use it, but I use it mainly in the morning. It is a decent price too, $30 for it. I was kind of decide between repurchasing this or getting the Ilia to try and I just went with the road because the Ilia is like twice the price but they redid the packaging on it so it's like now shiny so I want to share a repurchase now I'm going to go in with step two okay my battery just died so I just changed the battery but my face is drying I have a little bit left so I'm just going to use the rest of this I just took my hair out of a clip. My skin looks really shiny. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go in with this, and I feel like this lasted a month and a half, maybe even close to two months. It lasted a decent amount of time. And the one con about this is that when you get to the bottom of the bottle, it's really hard to get the product out. So I have to like dump it in my palm and like suck it up through my palm, if that makes sense. So I put it in the palm of my hand to get it in the dropper and then I distribute it. My hair's a little damp where I put it, but it's fine. Now, the last three steps, moisturizer, oil, and vitamin E underneath my eyes. Moisturizer and oil on, and then the E ointment underneath my eyes. And I need to put my ultra human ring on. 